Copernicus, the European Union's Earth Observation Programme, monitors our planet and its many ecosystems. Value-added products are distributed through six thematic services. Land monitoring, marine environment monitoring, climate change, atmosphere monitoring, emergency management, security. These services are based on data from a constellation of six families of satellites known as the Sentinels. Sentinel-1, a radar imaging satellite. Sentinel-2, a high-resolution multispectral optical satellite. Sentinel-3, a medium-resolution imaging and altimetry mission. Sentinel-4, a geostationary atmospheric chemistry mission. Sentinel-5, a low-Earth orbit atmospheric chemistry mission. Sentinel-6, an altimetry mission. Sentinel's data are complemented with those from third-party satellites known as contributing space missions. The first generation of the space component would ensure continuity until 2030. The users are the centre of the program's design and implementation and their needs will drive its evolution. Currently, Copernicus is not able to meet the needs of specific user communities. A clear example is offered by the Arctic and Subarctic user communities, which include environmental, pollution and climate policy and science, fishing industry, oil and gas, shipping industry, tourism and leisure, security. These user communities would like to have access to data and information with specific performance requirements. Better revisit times from 3 hours to 24 hours. Spatial resolution better than 10 meters for sea ice cover measurements. Integrated observations of several parameters. One hour latency time to download data to the ground. How can we efficiently tackle these needs? The operational network of individual observation nodes project, ONION, found a solution in Distributed Satellite Systems, DSS, which envisions space elements interacting, cooperating and communicating with each other. The project leverages on two concurrent trends, increased modularity and miniaturization of technologies. Momentum of constellations of small satellites being deployed these years or planned to be deployed within the next decade. The optimal architecture studied envisions the presence of eight heavy nodes and eight small nodes. The heavy nodes embark a synthetic aperture radar in X-band and an optical image, 200 kg payload, 600 kg dry mass. The small nodes embark a GNSSR instrument, 10 to 20 kg CubeSat size. The heavy nodes can communicate amongst themselves through inter-satellite links. The nodes are distributed on eight planes. On each plane, there are alternatively two heavy nodes and two small nodes. Orbits are near polar at 807 km altitude and are configured in a Walker Delta-like constellation. While ensuring complementarity with Copernicus, Onion exploits the synergies with the global navigation satellite systems by using navigation signals reflections. The parameters measured by the architecture are ocean surface currents, dominant wave direction, significant wave height, wind speed over the surface, sea ice cover, sea surface temperature, atmospheric pressure over sea surface. Onion, a distributed satellite systems concept, DSS, providing innovative solutions to complement the current and planned Copernicus offer, targeting relevant and large user communities. While fully meeting the requirements of the Arctic and Subarctic marine communities, the benefits of Onion will extend to the other use cases analyzed by the project. Arctic sea ice monitoring, agricultural hydric stress, fishing pressure monitoring, and aquaculture. The potential deployment of such an architecture could fit the time frame of the second generation of the Copernicus space component, that is 2028 onwards. On-orbit resource sharing, enhance reliability, improved efficiency, mission cost reduction, and much more. Copernicus and Onion, a winning synergy for Europe in space.